Hi there, Nigel Saunders here of KW Bonsai. Today we're going to take a journey in space, time and imagination and travel to the planet in the movie Avatar. Pandora is the fifth moon of the gas giant Polyphemus, which orbits the star Alpha Centauri A. Due to the smaller size, its gravity is 20% less than Earth's. Discovered by space telescopes between 2050 and 2077, depending on the position of the various moons, Pandora can have two or even three moons in its sky at once. Pandora is mysterious, primal and terrifying. The moon Pandora is a lush paradise. Pandora is the home of ancient trees called home trees. These home trees are called Kelatral in the Nevi language. Kelatral are massive trees that can be found throughout Pandora. Home trees are generally described as being more than 100 meters tall. Home trees are about two to three times the height of the tallest redwood trees on Earth. The actual home tree that's shown in the movie is a little different than some of the pre-production artwork. So we have to kind of decide what look I want to create this bonsai home tree. So I've kind of taken the top of a artist rendition and uh, spliced in the roots of a uh, another tree and kind of made a combination of how I want my actual avatar tree to look. Step one is determining the look of the tree that I want. So step two will be determining the height of the tree. Now, I'm thinking in the movie they have a hologram projection of the tree on a table like surface and it looks to be three to four feet high. So I was thinking of making it a similar size to that. So quite a large tree. The next step is to pick a species of tree. When picking a species of tree to start my avatar home tree, the Sarissa tree comes to mind. I've uh, almost got that home tree like structure up top on this African acacia style Sarissa. It has small leaves which would be you know an added plus. It would make the tree look a lot bigger. To grow a Sarissa tree into a large avatar style home tree would take a lot of years. Um, this tree is about 12 or 13 years old I think. <laughs> anyway um, to grow it a big tree would take a lot of time. Um, Hong in our club has a large Sarissa tree that's probably close to uh, probably two feet tall and it's the trunk is getting quite thick on it and that's about 16 or 17 years uh, from a cutting I believe. So it can be done. Um, it would be a long-term project but I think it would be a good tree to style as a home tree. It does have very similar bark to the the bark of the tree in the movie which is an added plus. So it's got small leaves we can get fine branching it has good roots also. Um, these Sarissa trees grow roots really easily. We could grow quite a nice flare at the base of the tree and make a, a really nice tree out of it. So that's uh, one species that would be really good to use. Another good species to use would be a Ficus microcarpa. They have the right kind of root structure that the home tree has in the movie. The Ficus microcarpa has all these nice aerial roots that grow out of the trunk and create a nice root base that would be very similar to the tree shown in the movie. The leaves on the ficus microcarpa can be reduced with proper bonsai techniques so they can get fairly small but they'll never get as small as a sarissa. So it has that disadvantage that the leaves are you know small to medium rather than being a small leafed plant. Another good contender for a home tree would be the bougainvillea. This is a pink pixie bougainvillea and it gets the nice uh, kind of reddish pink flowers all over it which would really add to the look of a uh, you know an avatar type tree having color all over it. 
The Sarissa tree also gets white flowers on it, which are nice little miniature flowers. But for pure color, the Bougainvillea would be a good choice. Another good choice is the two little leaf Ficus benjamina. It has aerial roots, which is good. It has a good kind of buttressing root base, which is uh, always a plus for a home tree. It has a really small foliage. So that could be developed uh, quite nicely into a, a home tree. Another tree that I could grow into a home tree would be my Ficus religiosa. It already has kind of the structure of the home tree. The disadvantage is that the leaves are kind of naturally, you know, medium to large on them. They can be reduced with uh, techniques, but again, they'll never be little tiny leaves. So I think, you know, unless you grew this tree really, really large, I, I don't think the leaves would be that suitable to create a that home tree look of a giant tree. I think you need those little tiny leaves on it. I have a few other species that might be suitable. Maybe my African acacia seedlings might grow into a nice uh, home tree someday. So what I think I'm going to do is I've got some sarissa cuttings. I'm kind of leaning towards the sarissa as one possibility. My two little leaf ficus is another possibility. And a bougainvillea is another possibility. So. I think I'll probably start three or four trees with the intention to style them as giant avatar home trees. When I look around my plant room, I see a lot of trees that I've kind of subconsciously styled as a avatar home tree. This kind of being one example. Um, it is also kind of the natural form of the ficus and tropical type trees. so. Maybe a bit of both, uh, subconscious and styling after realistic trees. For this tree, our Pandora Avatar project, we're going to go into a new realm of trees that don't really exist. We're trying to make a bonsai tree look like a tree from a movie. And uh, I think it'll be quite exciting to work on this project. So stay tuned. We'll uh, keep doing updates of our avatar project as I choose our trees and plant them and get them underway. So Nigel Saunders of KW Bonsai, thanks for watching. Do something green today. Watch the movie Avatar. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.